hello 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 welcome back to justina's kitchen i hope you're all doing wonderful out there today guys i'm going to bring you an appetizer it's easy delicious spicy tasty awesome so without wasting any time let's begin with the preparation of the appetizer here i display the ingredients as you can see I'm going to use one carrot, chili pepper, different types. We're going to blend some garlic. We're going to blend and coarse. Not smooth, not puree. We're going to blend and coarse. Just a light one. And then we're going to put it aside. And then Peel the carrot and chop them to the sizes that you wish. Transfer them in a bowl. I now start by cutting the chili pepper. Chop them to the sizes that you wish. We have like different colors. We have the green, yellow, orange and red. You can remove the seeds if you want to. I'm going to add in about six to eight shallot onions plus six to eight garlic cloves. After chopping all the pepper, then you can transfer it together with the other ingredients. I'm going to use green olives. Take about 15 to 20 olives and two teaspoons of carpage if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't need to add it in. I'm going to add in about 10 pieces of calamon olives. Take about five to six olives and then separate them from the seeds. After separating them from the seeds, you can chop them coarse as I am doing right now. Add it with the other ingredients. This recipe is really, really, really simple and it's really, really effective. When you have it at home, you don't need to buy. Make your own. It's always healthy. Now take a lemon, cut them into two squeeze it after all that then you can strain it to remove the seeds we don't want to chew seeds in a pickle <laughs> Now empty 25 milliliters of lime juice. This recipe is for you lime or sour lovers. <laughs> Add in two teaspoons of salt because we're making a large quantity. Mix together until the salt is dissolved. And then we add in our chopped garlic. Mix together. We're now going to add in our spices. Add in one teaspoon of chili flakes. Two teaspoons of chili flakes. And then add in one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Adjust the spice to your satisfaction. If you don't want it spicy, you don't need to add in so much. We now mix thoroughly until everything is incorporated. I now empty the ingredients in a transparent glass bowl that you can see exactly what I'm doing. 
empty all the contents inside the bowl add in the habanero pepper it's optional if you don't want it spicy or a very chili you don't need to add in so much now I empty some of the mixture the lime and the lemon mixture together with the ingredients and now we're gonna give it a mix mix it properly and then now we're gonna empty everything in a sterilized jar clean sterilized jar empty everything inside until you get it to the top I'm now going to empty the rest of the lemon and the lime juice inside and then last we're going to add in the olive oil one cup of olive oil two cups of olive oil equivalent to 200 milliliters of olive oil and then close the jar tight make sure you wipe it dry make sure that it's clean and dry tightly closed and then give it a shake for everything to mix properly turn it upside down and see that everything is mixed up the oil and the lemon together inside the bottle is completely mixed and our pickle is now done you can keep it in a cold dry place It can be preserved as long as you want it. Make sure that as soon as it is opened, it is in the refrigerator. Wow, look at that. Look how beautiful it looks. Appetizing. Wow, 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 wow. It goes perfectly well with fish, grilled fish, grilled chicken, meat, shrimp, you name it. Try it and you'll comment and tell me how good it tastes. When you start eating, you will never stop. You ah, guys, soon pickle be parena, soon pickle be parena. Be mom at the falence and yasa kuborek. Wala sen yasa gin. Akmalo. Saf sapa la def. Try and correct. Akrang habi sav busaf.